tonight, a 28-year-old sports nut who wants to stand out from the crowd. I love surfing, I love snowboarding, uh, I really enjoy my yoga. In reality, I'm just a big kid. My garage is full of toys, cars, motorbikes, surfboards. I started my business on my own just over a year ago, and now we've got eight employees. Anyone that loves sport is going to love our business. Any shark that passes by on this opportunity will be mad. This is going to change an industry. My name is Gary Elphick. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Disrupt. We customize the world's sports equipment. I'm here today looking for $250,000 in investment for a 5.8 equity stake in our business. Nice round number. 5.88 <laughs> technically, but. <laughs> so look, if you're into sports, then you're incredibly passionate about what you do. Like I'm a snowboarder, I'm a surfer, I love my yoga. That's who I am and it's what I relate to. But unfortunately, all I can get is boring, mass-produced sports equipment. Only the very top professionals that get fully customized equipment, and we think that's just wrong. What we've built at Disrupt is a platform where we put you at the center. You get to design up your own sports equipment. So you choose exactly the right model and make for you. You can then apply your own graphics, your own designs, or you can pick something from a marketplace of local artists. We then have a network of local manufacturers that make your equipment and ship it to you. And the result is that it's 100% customized to you, it's made locally, and it's exactly the same price as retail. So that's us, we're Disrupt, we're customizing the world's sports equipment. Normally I'll do everything I can to stay away from sharks, but uh, on this occasion, I'll ask you guys if you want to come for a paddle with us. Okay, that was 250,000 for 5.8% of your company, valuing your business at 4.3 million. Yes. Okay. You mentioned locally a couple yes. of times, but are you, is this going to be a global business that's think global, act local? 100%. We spent the, the last year of the business building up that global network. So we've got manufacturing in the UK, in France, Portugal, Sri Lanka, uh, South Africa, and we're just about to sign the US contracts, which is really what we're raising the money for now. G'day, Gary. Steve Baxter, how are you doing? Where, where are you from, mate? Uh, UK originally, so Brighton in the UK. Yesterday, where were you from? Uh, Bondi. Bondi, excellent. So, so you find people who make surfboards, you put them in a marketplace, and people can actually customise those surfboards. Yes, that's And exactly. get custom designs, be it shape, form, or uh, look. 100% right. So how long have you been in business? About 18 months. 18 months. How are you monetising it? How do you, what, how do you make the bucks? Uh, we, take, we take the margin off of it. So can we get some revenues on that then? Total sales for the 18 month period was 620,000. Uh, in the last year, we've done that uh, 151,000. Where'd you lose the money? So 18, 18 months, you did 620. In the last 12 months, you did 151. I could appreciate that if it was the other way around, but I mean, why the difference? Uh, well, it's because we changed the business. We would have had a really nice local business that sold sports equipment in Australia. Uh, we cut that right back to a single product so that we could find product market fit in a multi-country multi and an international business. But you just threw away half a million bucks in revenue. That's a pretty brave move. It's, it, the, it's about the long-term vision, so we really want to be the biggest global player. It's quite unusual, though, for someone to throw away a potential revenue stream of half a million dollars when you're only 18 months in. Yeah. A lot of businesses, if they were transforming their business model, would maintain their existing revenue while they strapped on the new revenue. But you didn't have the resources to do no, that, did you? No. Which is a bit of a flaw in the valuation concept because execution is always part of it. So you have shown yourself to be vulnerable in the sense that you couldn't basically spin all those plates at once. Maybe your new business model will save you, but as an investor, last year I would have been really nervous, wouldn't I? So, Gary, back to your numbers. Sure, yeah. 500K you've thrown away, obviously. I wouldn't say thrown away, like we, we, still, we still had sales in, yeah. It must have been small margins, so more excitingly. Tell me, what's, what's the, the future? What's the big vision? Yeah, one year from now, where are we going to be? Uh, $2 million, $2 million in revenue is next year. Uh, and then out of that, it's 800,000 in net from that. Come on, Gary, you're taking the piss.
I don't believe in the valuation. 4.3 million bucks, really? 18 months. Seriously? On what planet did you get to $4.3 million when you're actually losing a lot of money right now? So if we look at next year's projections, about where we're going to be with $2 million sales over there. You've actually got orders for this. Uh, no, there's no, there's no pre-orders. So you've got no pre-orders. You're taking the piss. You I, totally are. I can appreciate what you're saying. If you had orders, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even got the orders. So how on earth did you get to $4.3 million? I mean, if you, we're looking at the, the long-term opportunity, so if I invested 250 grand, how long do you think it would take for me to get my money back as an investor? Uh, four to five years. Four to five years? Yeah. And what, what sort of return do you think you'd get me? 10x. So I'm going to give you 250, and in four or five years, I'm going to get 2.5 million back. At a minimum, at a minimum. You're a great guy, but my god, you talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, as if you can say that you've got no orders and you're saying you're going to make him 10 times his money. Really? I was getting excited. So year five, when we're going to get 10 times our money, tell me what the business is doing and what's dropping out as a profit line. We're looking at around about 126 million in year five. I'm sorry, what did you just say? 126 million? Yes, yeah, yeah. 126 million. I, I, I can appreciate what you're saying, I can. But when we look at similar businesses that have gone through customization, they've managed to get to that scale. So, um, Gary, if we believed in your story and you're not dreaming and you wake up in five years' time, what's your bottom line profit? Uh, we're looking at about 16 million. 16 million. Which means if you did sell the business, you get 160 million and we probably would get 10 times our money back. I can tell you where I'm at. It's, it's a very nice product, clever idea. You've got a good business on a roll, but you put a huge price on it, which means we're taking an enormous risk on a team that couldn't manage to change strategies last year without dropping half a million of revenue. I'm sorry, I wish you luck. I love the product, I'll probably be a customer, but I'm definitely out. Awesome, thank you. There's a lot to like. Thank you. Cool name. You know, the boards are fantastic. You're right, customization is the way of the future. Totally agree with you. Totally agree. As cocky as you are, you are really likable. And you know, you, you'd actually have a lot of fun doing work with you. You may get to your numbers you were saying. Could be 20 years. That's okay, you may get there and you may not. But you're not actually respecting the investor's money with regard to the valuation and the, the risk and the journey that you've got to go. But I actually wish you a lot of luck and I hope I'm wrong, but I'm out. Gary. Yes. Hey. hey. How you going, mate? <laughs> awesome. Hey, um, b bloody good luck, right, <laughs> I reckon. Thank you. Uh, you've got the stones to maybe pull this off. It, it will not be with my money. I'm out. Thank you. Good luck. Gary, I don't think this is going to be your last business. <laughs> I think you've had a few, you've got a few more to come. It's great. Uh, it's just not an investment for me. Awesome, thank you. I'm out. Okay, sir. So, Gary, uh, you, you, you're selling a dream. You're selling hope. I'm buying hope. No way! Oh, no. 250k for 33%. Yeah. Uh, that's an offer. That is an offer. And I bet on a racehorse. I'd take that, mate. I wouldn't even wait. So would Just I. Just in case he changes his mind, he's going to wake up in a second and know this is a bad dream. Gary Elphick is looking for $250,000 for 5.8% of his customised sports equipment business. But his high valuation has wiped out four sharks so far. So, Gary, uh, you're selling a dream. You're selling hope. I'm buying hope. No way! 250k for 33%. Uh, uh. That's an offer. 
that is an offer. Yeah, it's uh, about one sixth of what you asked for. And it's yes. probably but, about but right. This guy has so much pluck, he's probably going to make it. Yeah, okay. 250k for 33%. Oh, it's bet on a racehorse. Take it. Mate, bite his hand off. Okay, well, let's, let's play the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's a drastically low valuation that we've put on the business, and I well, you got totally... a drastically high one. I, I just, you know, there's a massive execution risk. You're hearing my colleagues going, "You're an idiot for even putting an offer up like that." You have zero traction, so I'm not convinced that any valuation you put on above my offer is going to make any sense. Thank you for your offer and thank you all for your time and I hope you all do become customers of ours. Uh, but I'm just gonna have to say that we, we can't accept it, I'm sorry. Oh, oh Gary. I'm bitterly disappointed. Okay, Gary, we're gonna follow you up in a year. Prove us wrong. Prove us wrong. Done. Good, Good luck to you. Thanks, Thanks, Gary. Gary. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Gary. Good fun. Watch out for those sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Gary, you turned down a big deal. Think you'll come to regret it? Um, I don't think so, no. Like, we've got a strong team and we're offering something that nobody else is offering, so hopefully we'll be back in a year and we'll prove them all wrong.